Yeah, okay. this lesson will be on the cell phone, one-to-one. -one. Students will call you. Yeah, this lesson, you can say it's about the animals, words. Mm -hmm. But you can say, actually, Ralph have already seen this lesson, but I have no time to change it. So okay. we're about to use it, yeah, and then later we can make some revision on it. Okay. Oh, well, it's very colorful. Huh? Yeah, colorful. All of the game and task. And you can say, um, our students' age range from grade 3 to grade 6. Okay. Grade 3 to grade 6. So, I mean, you will never know who will call you, which grade student will call you. So, that, so there are some problems. That means maybe you receive the students of grade 3, so maybe we use more easy words and easy sentence to talk with her or him. But if you receive the students from grade six, you can try more topic. I mean, for example, if the student is grade three, maybe for the grade three students, he can only know the rabbit and lion and horse. So those three words, She's familiar, but other words maybe she did not know. So we can okay. be, yeah, we can choose. But if the students of grade six, that means she has a large vocabulary. So that means no, no, no. On this page, on this page, you can see there's a words and a sentence, right? So we can try more topic to talk more. Maybe the topic more harder and the sentence you, you use will be more difficult. Okay. So that means we have to treat each other in different ways. Okay. I okay. see. So this material, uh, we have um, one new material, and then this material um, is going to be used for grade students from grade three, four, five, and six. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that I means you have to choose. Yeah. So it all depends on the teachers. You have to train train the teachers. Yeah and choose for at least the four experienced teachers. Okay. okay, so let's do the do the this this lesson first, okay? Mm -hmm. I will tell you. Okay. So that means tomorrow if students call you and first we can free talk like hi, what's your name? How old are you? Do you like English? Do you like your father or mother? And that means our, our warming up topic, not only the what's your name, how old are you? So students may feel a, a little bit, I mean, a boring. So we can try some more topics like, do you like this weather today? Yeah. So that means if the student is grade three, he can only understand what's your name and how old are you? So that's okay. So, I mean, from the talking, talking, you can say students English.
Yes, so okay. it, it, it really depends on the teachers, but this part warm up. Try more topics, yeah, but depends on the students' English skills. Okay. So, second page is, we can say, let's play a game. You can say there is, so, in the forest, right, there are so many animals. So teacher, so what your teacher will, will be do, like, I will, I mean, for, I mean, uh, okay, let's do this. If the students are very young, it's like, like grade three, you can try, okay, tell me where is monkey? Mm -hmm. So they maybe say, in the tree, tell me where is dog? In the grass, tell me where is pig? Or, yeah, it, it's very easy for students. Yeah, it's very easy. And maybe for the students from grade six or their English are better, you can try like you, teacher, describe the animals. I will describe an animal for you. He's the king of the forest. He's big and dangerous. He likes eat rabbit. Or you can describe the animal is very big and huge. He likes water and his nose is very long. Which animal it is? Tell me the animal's words. So it all depends on you, teachers and students' uh, situation. Okay? Mm -hmm. For the younger, you can try animals, plant animal. For the harder, for the higher students, you can describe the animals and students guess what is the English name. Okay. Okay. So, this is the game. Okay, do you have the dice rolling? Do you know the dice rolling? Yeah. Dice? Yeah. Yeah. In gambling, right? In gambling and poker. In poker, right? Gambling. We use the dice. So, that means this I mean, today, you, you, you better find at least the four to five dice. dice. Mm -hmm. So this is a game. So do you know this game? Have, have, have you played this game before? Um, we have um, a similar game, but it's not really called um, a zillionaire game. Yeah, but I've played a similar game. Yeah, so that means it, 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 it's really like more interaction in it. So the teachers roll the dice. Okay, now the dice shows a six. So that means you will one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six is no animal. Okay, now it's your turn. So you, you, you roll the dice and you tell the students the number and the students can go seven, eight. Wow, I jumped into the dark. So if the students who comes the animal's point, he will like one one or or to describe the animal or imitate the sound of animal or just easy to tell the English name of the animal. Okay. Okay, yeah. so it's like a game, okay? I believe you have already got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so when, um, like, let's say, for example, after rolling the dice, um, we have number five. Um, square number five, that's the lion. So I have to ask the student to, like, imitate the sound or maybe guess what the animal is or tell me um, what the animal does. Yes, okay. So that means we, uh, that means we have a lot of things to do. First, you can say, what animal it is? Tell me the English name. And second, you can say, what does the sound of the animal? Okay. And then you can try, if, it, okay. if you come to a snake, because you can try, is it dangerous? The animal dangerous? Where does the animal live? Do you like those animals? Where does the animal eat? Okay. What does the animal eat? Okay. So that means, it all depends on the student situation. Yeah, if students have good English, mm -hmm. so you can try more questions. Okay, okay. Okay, I believe you have already got it. So, okay, so maybe 
in this part, you can try more time on it because it is really fun. Okay, second. Mm -hmm. Second is a match. Match the face. Yeah, match. Okay, picture A, which animal it is. Or you can try rabbit. Follow me, rabbit. Okay, which picture is rabbit face? Tell me. Okay. Okay. So this is the sentence. It's okay. In this part, you still have a lot to do. For example, yeah, I like what? Monkey. Monkey. Okay. So, okay, you did a very good job. Let's continue to the second one. Okay, tell me, do you like? Okay. If a student says snake, you can try. Wow, you like snake. I like snake too. But I think snakes are dangerous. Yeah, there is some poison snake. Wow, if a snake bites me, I will die. Yeah, you can, you can, okay. you can try more knowledge on it. Okay. Okay. And it's a let's find the different ones. So that means one pig to the pig, dog to the dog, horse to horse, and students find the different one cat. No, it's elephant, it's not cat. Okay, snake. No, it's a bird, it's not snake. So actually, actually, this lesson, um, actually, I, I, I feel not very satisfied with this lesson. It, mm -hmm. it, 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 it will have a lot to do to, to, to revise more or better. Because I think it, it all only is about the vocabulary, so maybe it uh, cannot be uh, um, a perfect one. Okay. Yeah, but, but we can yeah. still try. Yeah, I we think can it's um, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you have to train teachers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you you all got it. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. So. Let's try the second one. Let's try the second one. Um, let's try the second one. Okay, this is for the Thursday public demo for headmaster in school. Yeah, it, it, this lesson will be on our.